yesterday. We looked at a picture that had lots of things blowing around. What were some of the things that were blowing around in that picture? What was something, Jory? A man's hat. There was a man's hat blowing around. Um, what else? A kite. A kite. There was a kite. Okay. What else? Tian. A parachute. Um, Taj. Okay, what kind of boats are those? Kaya, help them out. A sailboat. What part of the sailboat makes the boat kind of work? Adonia. Adonia. Sean, can you help her? We're talking about that boat, that Ooh. sailboat. What are those things called? Oh. Mariasia? Uh. Think about the name. The sails, okay? The sails. How do the sails help the boat to go? What do they do? But Tiana. They move. How? Well, do the sails, do the sails move? Sometimes the, they can move them. How do they make the boat move, though? The wind. the wind. Taj, did you hear what Shanaysia just said? What did she say? How does the wind make, work with the sail to make the boat go? What does the sail have to do? What has to happen with the wind for, for the sail, when that sail, for the boat to go? It, what? It pushes. It pushes. Okay, so. The sail has to be able to catch wind in order for it to push it, right? Okay? So the sails work, Taj, by catching the wind, all right? Now, I want you to think about sails for a minute. And because how many of you have ever seen a sailboat? Really, in real life? I've seen a sailboat. Maybe seen? The big one? Or maybe, on, maybe you've seen one on TV. Last year in first grade, you guys maybe talked about properties of solids. Okay, so we're going to think about those properties. Properties are things like size, shape, shape color, and then they're about stiffness. What do, you, what do you think stiffness means? What do you think that means, Kira? What do you mean by that? Tell me a little more. Okay, so how so if some some things are gonna move really easy and some things are gonna stand straighter and firmer, not as floppy maybe? Okay. Think about a sail and think about these properties. Which of these properties do you think are gonna help the sail catch the wind? Sean. Stiffness. How do you think stiffness is gonna help? Okay, because if it's not stiff, what's it going to do in the wind? It might just blow right over, okay? What else? What else do you think might matter, Adonia? How do you think the shape might help it? Do so you think some shapes might catch wind better than other shapes? Okay. What else, Kyra? I heard that... A triangle is the most best, the best shape. Shape first. So you think that a triangle might work better than a circle? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think you might get a chance to try out your idea. Is there another one up here that you think that you think matters? Adonia. The size. Why do you think the size matters? If the sail's little, you think it might go faster because it's light? Okay, think about our parachutes. What did we talk about? Because our parachutes had to catch wind. Okay, remember we talked about surface area, having more area that would catch the wind? Do you think that it could be too big? Yeah. 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 Well, maybe. It's something to think about. So you guys, well, you know what? You guys just kind of answered my second question because we just said what properties would make a good sail. Nobody said color. Why do you think the color doesn't matter? Oh. O'Shea? Good. 
Do you think a red sail is going to catch wind better than a blue sail? No. No, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. You have a little challenge today, okay? But your challenge has a goal. You are going to get to think about, you're going to get to actually create a good sail. You are going to try to design the best sail that you can, the sail that will catch the most wind, right? Here's our track. It's a little bit different than one we had last week. There's a little, this is our boat. But what is our sailboat missing? Sail. A sail. A sail. Shark. And wind. Shark. Well, here's our wind. Here's our pretend water, okay? So all we're missing, Todd, is the sail. So your job is going to be to design a sail that is going to make this sailboat move. What you really want to be thinking about, your goal, is to figure out which of those properties we talked about would make the best sale. Okay, just keeping that part in your head. You are working today just like a mechanical engineer. Okay, remember that a mechanical engineer designs machines. What kind of machine did our mechanical engineer design yesterday? Um, Jory. Windmills, okay, Leaf's mom designs windmills. So remember, mechanical engineers design machines or parts of machines. They might work on how machines, how they can make machines work better or make machines work together to do a job. Okay, so what machine are you guys designing today? Mariasia? A sail, which is part of a bigger machine that is a, what is it? A sailboat, okay, so it's part of a sailboat. We're gonna go over. For this challenge, you guys are going to have to make some decisions because you're the engineers. What I want you to do on this paper is circle, and you don't have to do it yet because I'm going to show them to you too. Circle the materials you think would make a good sail, okay, as we go through them. You can circle all of the ones that you think might make a good sail. And for your design, you're going to choose one, okay? So the first thing on your paper is aluminum foil. So here's what the aluminum foil looks like. If you think that that would make a good sale, go ahead and circle that on your paper. And remember, you can circle more than one. Okay, there's the foil. Paper is the second one. If you think paper would make a good sale. A plastic bag, just like you might have from the grocery store. We've got wax paper, tissue paper, cups, little, little cups, felt, okay, felt, and index cards. Little, that's why I'm showing you. Little index cards. Look down at the second part. It says number three. Down there you have some shapes. Okay, there's a square, a triangle, a circle. So I also want you to think for a second about what shape do you think would be the best? If you would like to use a shape that's not there, there is a empty square that you can use. draw what you think would be best. All right? Let's see what you got. What do you think, Sean? What is Make a good sale because they're weaker than the other ones? So what do you mean by that? If they're weaker, why do you think being weaker will make a better sale? They're flatter. They're flatter. So maybe draw a line through that word weaker and put flatter. <laughs> did you already did you circle the ones you thought would make good sales? Okay, why do you think those two? I don't really know what I think of. I don't think what I like. Well, what is it about them? I mean, why did you pick felt and you didn't pick a plastic bag? What was it about the felt that because made you think it would be better? Because felt is like harder than a plastic bag. So write that. Write that. See, you did know why you picked up.